How are you? Uh, Monday, uh, auction week, we are uh, busy, very busy. Um, yep. Playing a bit of catch up at the minute. Uh, we are juggling, I think is the best way to describe it. Oh, yeah. um, we were just going to do a wee video this morning, just kicking off our auction week. Um, <coughs> anything of note, Katie? No, nothing. Not that I've found yet, because no, okay, we've been flat to the mass and had no chance to look at okay. it. So we thought we'd actually do this on babies. It'd give me a chance to have a rant. You said no rant. No have rant. a rant, going to rant about it, yeah. um, baby bottles. It's one of the things that um, I think that a lot of the brands are missing the trick. Yes. Um, some of them are doing it. Some of the new brands are doing it. I mean, it was always famous, the baby powers. I mean, mm -hmm. everybody talked about the baby powers for years. So it was one of the things that everybody loved. And I know a lot of, uh, I know Rosie and that, her, her dad yes. would have been having a baby powers in his pocket or something like that or going to a football match. And I see the drama in a can is starting to fill that gap. I see people posting up pictures yeah. of yesterday at the All-Ireland and that. So again, we genuinely do have a good few miniatures in our auctions. Uh, they are, they have got their own section now as well because there was so many of them and it was leading to some confusions. It's hard at times because you're doing the photos of it a, a bottle of Jameson, and this is the point that I'm making, is they really do replicate the bottles in they so do. many ways. It's and crazy. unless you've any sort of perception of size, yeah. you yeah, don't know. Clue so it's like mean. Father Ted, you know that small far away? <laughs> Barry used to lecture me about all the time. The cows are far away, they're just not small. Um, But on the bottom auction there, on the bottom rack, you can have a look at the few of them. So these are the ones, these are great uh, taster packs. Uh, Middleton do them so you've got the Barry Crockett the Powers Johns Lane the Green Spot and the Red Breast 12 a great introduction to pot still Irish whiskey mm -hmm. anybody who's never tasted pot still Irish whiskey it's a great gift for them to just explore it Barry Crockett is probably my pick out of that but Johns Lane's not far behind and the other two are exceptional whiskies as well yeah. so it's hard to, dis to, to disregard them the next one is the Red Breast family you've got the 15 the 12 and the Lustau uh, again, great examples of uh, what Red Breast does and does so very well, the sherry influence and all that sort of stuff. Uh, Bushmills is great because they're literally mini bottles of Bushmills yeah. and they're in the, in the distillery uh, uh, replica and all that sort of stuff as well. Bailey's Mini. So there's one that a lot of people would have realised and all that sort of stuff. And then we have our friends then, Brendan and Cologne. And look at them. I mean, they're, he is really one of the few that's actually doing them the wee mini Kuiga sets flew off the shelves yeah, i mean did, yeah. flew off the shelves everybody wanted them uh, i think it's a great presentation and it's a great way for people to taste brendan's whiskey without maybe investing in a full-size bottle or that as well or as a gift to get people to taste it tealings are piles up there in dublin uh, again it's a great in for them they've got the, the single grain the single malt and the small batch or some way around yep. uh, again another way to taste them Jemson, what can we say? I mean, the, the Crested was rebranded on instead of Crested 10, but the Black Barrel, the Cask Mates, and the Jemson itself. So that's all our Irish pals. Uh, there is a bit of an Irish feature up there in that one of the whiskies of the world, which I think is great. It's a bit unusual. You've got Jack Daniels, Jemson, Suntory, and uh, Scotch in it as well. So that's a great example of that. But as we were saying, the I'll presentation, I'll concussion. Ah, yeah. Here's a look at that. With a glass and a mini. Yep. Great presentation. Great gift for somebody. It would be, yeah. You know, and again, I think that's what I say. I think Irish brands, oh, a lot of the new Irish brands. Now, I know there's the cost of production and making up the, the mini bottles again, you know, is tough for them as well. But, I mean, it's great for them as a taster and an yeah. introduction into the brands and all that time. And stuff like that, Christmas gifts. Better gifts, yeah. going away gifts. And what I love about them... Just buying me a gift because you love me. Uh, the bottles look exactly like the big bottles. Yeah, 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 yeah that's <laughs> the thing. And that's what I'm saying, that some of them are doing it. Then you've the weird and wonderful things like uh, up here. So Marks and Sparks. Marks and Sparks carry an awful lot of own brand whiskey. So yeah. Cooley, our pals out in Cooley, for years spent producing whiskey for Marks and Sparks. Not Marks and Spencer's judge. Yes. Yeah. So um, like this. Cadillac car, there's one for you. An exclusive glass Cadillac car filled with Kenmore blended Scotch whiskey. And there's another Kenmore there with a sports car. I'm sure there was a few of them that you could yeah, collect. There probably was. You probably could get them for Christmas and stuff. Um, another one, whiskies from Marks and Sparks. Cassidy's Irish whiskey. 
Deanston is a Scotch. Cassidy's an eight-year-old Irish whiskey. And uh, Kenmore, again, another one. Cassidy's, I think, was one of the brands that was produced out in Cooley for them. There you go. Uh, if you want to be offended... No, sorry, can't say that. If you want to taste... Good, hearty, peaty, scotch, slap in the back of the throat whiskey. That's not what you were saying. You were saying, like, licking the dirty ass tray. No, that's your saying. Oh, sorry, that's mine. mine saying, okay. Uh, <laughs> Bowmore, uh, they've got this fantastically good-looking fella on the front of it. Reach home, no idea what it's about. But they've got two miniature samples and that. Our Bells... God love bells. They don't really get much love. And they give you a little mini flask to carry on your keys. Just in case. And a wee doodad and for filling it. We do dad for filling it. We do dad. A do dad for filling it. Uh, and you can't remember the word. Uh, Glenfiddich do this cracking presentation. Good. <laughs> and there's three bottles in that as well. And again, they're in the triangular shape of the other Glen. Yeah, yeah uh, I'll do that later, babe. Glen Morangi. Do you like my Scottish accent? I kid? do, yes, yes. Glen Morangi. Uh, again, nice wee four bottle sample in that. So that's what we just sort of thought. You have a special place in your heart for a baby bottle. I do, I just think they're cute. Yes. Uh, and just to ex- clarify for everybody, it's not that you're an avid collector of the whiskey for tasting. No, it's because I think they're cute. Yes, and yes, pretty. And pretty. And we all know. Judging by your present company, your present husband. Or my son. Or your son, that that's what you want. You like pretty things in life. Short and cute. I'm not so short. <laughs> it's debatable sometimes. Yeah, well, exactly. <laughs> okay, so that's us. Uh, yes. Tomorrow we will be back with... We don't know. God knows what. Yeah, exactly. Because I, I haven't had a chance to look. No, yet. exactly. Yeah. It'll be a surprise for everyone. Yes. We'll including, all us. <laughs> including us. Including us. <laughs> um, again, auction week kicks off. Uh, Friday is we go live yes. at five. And there's a couple of charity bottles, I think. Uh, I haven't nailed them down yet. And uh, a few other bits and pieces. Yeah. But we'll get talking to them. We'll talk, talk to you tomorrow. Us.